Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve O Levels Mathematics D Paper 1 in a session October November 2023 Paper 1 2. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1 work out number A 0 0.05 times 0 0.3. So 5 times 3 would be 15, right? And we have 1, 2, and 3 decimal place. So let me add zeros. So 1, two and three decimal place over here so 0 0.015 is the answer now for part b 600 divides 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 we can write as 2 out of 10 so this is 600 times 10 over 2 so this would be 6000 over 2 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 3 would be 6 and 0, 0 and 0. So 3000 is the answer. Now for part C, we have to use board mass. So first we have to solve the bracket. So 20 minus 12 divides 8 take away 6 would be 2. And 20 subtract 12 divides 2. 2 times 6 would be 12 and 20 take away 6 would be 14. Right. Question number two, this rectangle is split into squares of two different uh, sizes. Okay, this is a rectangle. It's split into squares of two different sizes. This is the first size and this would be the second size. Okay, find the fraction of the rectangle that is shaded gray. Okay, how much is shaded? So if I draw the straight line over here... It would be in two different and over here you need to find the fraction that is shaded. Okay. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. Five is shaded. Out of the total we have to find. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 14, and 14 plus 7 is 21. So 5 out of 21 is shaded. Question number 3, part A. Find the decimal which is exactly halfway between 3 by 5 and 68%. Exactly halfway. So 68% is 68 divided by 100. Right, let me convert it into simplest form by dividing it by 2. 2, um, okay, 2 times 3 would be 6 and 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10 and 0. And 2 times uh, 2 would be 4. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So it is 17 out of 25. And the other one is 3 out of 5. So exactly the halfway beat means the mid point we can find. So 3 out of 5 the average plus 17 out of 25 and it's half dividing by 2. The common denominator is 25. 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 17 divided by 25 and it's whole divided by 2. So 15 plus 17, 7 and uh, 5, this would be 12 and uh, would be 30, it's 32. 32 out of 25 times 2, right? 25 times 2 would be 50, 32 out of 50. Okay, let me times it by 2. 2 times 3 would be 6, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 5 is 10 and 100, so it is 0 0.64 as a decimal, exactly the halfway. Now for part B, write this number correct to 3 decimal place, the first 3 decimal place, which is 0 4.07 and 3 rounded to 4 because the next digit is 8 and it is more than 5, so we have to round up. Now for parts uh, 3, evaluate cube root of 64. So we know that 4 cube, which is 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 4 would be 64. Right, so this is 4. Okay, now for question number 4. 
सोनू रिकॉर्ड्स द टेम्परेचर इन डिग्री सेल्सियस एट मिड नाइट एवरी डे फॉर ट्वेल्व डेज हेयर आर द रिजल्ट इन ऑर्डर स्टार्टिंग विद द कोल्डेस्ट पार्ट ए फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हायर एंड द लोअर वुड बी द रेंज राइट सो द हायर वुड बी सेवन एंड द लोअर इज नेगेटिव ऑफ सिक्स सेवन माइनस माइनस सिक्स सो सेवन प्लस सिक्स इज थर्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस ना फॉर पार्ट बी फाइन द मीडियन द मी सॉरी द मीडियन टेम्परेचर इज वन डिग्री सेल्सियस फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड द मीडियन द मिडल ओके सो मीडियन इज वन adding the two metals and dividing by 2 we have to solve for t so cross multiplication plus 1 this would be t which is 3 is t value is 3 degrees celsius question number 5 anna and rai share some money in the ratio 5 ratio 9 rai receive 8 dollar more than anna work out total amount of money that is shared Okay, so the ratio of Anna and Rai. Anna is five, and the Rai is nine. Let's say Anna has x. Anna receives x, and Rai receives eight more than Anna. So Rai receives x plus eight. Right? We have to solve how much money, the total amount of money that is shared. So cross multiplication, five times x plus eight equals to nine x, which is five x plus forty. Equals to nine x, and from here nine x minus five x. Um, we have to shift five over here. Equals to forty, and nine take away five, which is four x equals to forty. So x should be equals to ten, right? Now the total amount of money that is shared. Okay, so Anna is x. Which is ten, and Rai is uh, eight more than X, so ten plus uh, eight, which is eighteen, and the total is ten and eighteen. This would be twenty-eight. The total amount of money that is shared. Question number six: A, B, and C, D are parallel lines. A, B, and C, D. These two are parallel lines. uh e c e c and f b are parallel lines all right angle a b f a b and f is 73 degrees number a find the value of x so the value of x is also 73 degrees because uh, these two are straight line and this is uh, these two are parallel lines and this is a straight line uh these two are uh, corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal right Now for part B, find the value of y. So for y, we have to do uh, the straight line is one hundred and eighty. We have to subtract seventy three degrees, right? So from one hundred and eighty, take away seventy three. This would be seven, and ten take away three would be seven, and seven minus seven is zero, and one one hundred seven degrees is y. Question number seven: Shape A and triangle P Q are drawn on a centimeter square grid. The grid is centimeter square, right? Part A: Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle Q. P onto Q. So, if I consider this, would be a rotation. It's ninety degree, and clockwise. we have to find the center of rotation right so it is a rotation 90 degree clockwise about the center let me find out the center okay so this point is 5 1 This would be minus five one six one minus six one six three minus six and three. So about the region zero zero. Now for part B, shape B is an enlargement of shape A. Okay, 
the center of enlargement is 5 5 so we have given the center of enlargement which is 5 and 5 this would be the center of enlargement the area of shape b is 27 centimeter square we have given the area draw the shape b on the grid we do not have given the scale factor so from area we can easily find out the scale factor by the formula scale factor is um, area of uh, enlarged shape enlarged shape over area of original shape so the enlarged would be uh, b and the original is a so the scale factor this would be the enlarged is 27 let me solve for the area of a area of a these are three squares it is one centimeter square grid so one 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 which is three square three centimeter square so would be nine right three square so this is 27 out of nine which is three so the scale factor is three okay so from this let me find the diff distance between the points so it is one and two units so it is 2 left and 1 down. So this point would be 2 left and 1 down from the center of enlargement, right? And uh, this is going to multiply with the scale factor, which is 3. So uh, this would be minus 6 and minus 3, right? So from the center, minus 6 means 6 units left and 3 units down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, and 3. So the new point is minus 1, 2. Okay, the next, let me work on this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 down. So this point would be uh, minus 4 and minus 1 times it by 3. Right, this would be negative 12 and negative 3. Right, so these are the six units and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 3 downs 1, 2, and 3. So this point is minus 7, 2. Right, okay, let me work on this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 left and 1 and 2 down. So minus 4 and minus 2 would be this point times it by 3. Right? So this would be minus 12 and minus 6. Right? Minus 12 and this is minus 12. Minus 3, 4, 5 and 6. The point would be minus 7, minus 1. Right? Now work on this point. We have 1, 2, 3 and 1 2 3 and 2 negative 3 negative 2 and times it by 3 the scale factor so it's minus 9 and minus 6 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 4 and minus 1 right the next point is this 1 2 3 1 2 3 so 3 left and 3 down times it by 3 this would be not minus 9 minus 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 minus 4 minus 4 okay the last is this point 1 2 and 1 2 3 so this would be minus 2 minus 3 times it by 3. This would be minus 6 minus 9, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus 1, minus 4, right? Let me draw the enlarged shape B by connecting all the points. Okay. Right. So this is in large shape B.
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट पार्ट ए राइट द नंबर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म राइट सो वी हैव टू मूव द डेसिमल पॉइंट टू द राइट साइड वन टू थ्री यूनिट्स टू द राइट वे मूविंग सो दिस इज फोर पॉइंट नाइन थ्री टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर नेगेटिव थ्री नेगेटिव थ्री बिकॉज वी हैव मूव टू द राइट नाउ फॉर पार्ट बी वैल्यूएट दिस गिव यूर आंसर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म फोर टाइम्स टू वी कैन डू एंड टाइम्स टेन एक्सपोनेंट नाइन टाइम्स टेन एक्सपोनेंट माइनस टू फोर टाइम्स टू इज एट टाइम्स टेन एक्सपोनेंट फ्रॉम नाइन टेक अवे टू दैट वुड बी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन पार्ट ए राइट वन एटी एज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट्स प्राइम फैक्टर्स ओके सो वन एटी know that uh, 6 times 3 would be 18 or 6 times 30 we can take 6 and 30 both are not prime numbers prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3 and for 30 3 times 10 is 30 and 2 times 3 times 3 and 10 prime factorization is 2 times 5 so we can rewrite 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 and times by 5 or 2 square Times three square times five, right? Now for part B, express as a product of its prime factors. Thirty six is this, and n would be this, where k is greater than three. One eighty is the lowest common multiple of thirty six and n. Find the value of k. So we have thirty six prime factorization is two times two times three times three. And n prime factorization is two uh, times two times three times some k, and k should be greater than three. So more than three, the next prime number would be five. Let me check at five. Right. So let me find out the LCM now. Two is common. This two is common, and this three is common. Right. So the LCM. Of thirty six and n would be two times two times three and uncommon are three times five, so two times two three times three and five which is one eighty. So the number k is five. Question number ten by writing each number correct to one significant figure estimate the value of the one significant figure of one thousand two hundred forty is one thousand. Three point eight is four. And eleven point two is ten, and its square root. Right, so one is zero is cancelled with zero, so we have square root of four hundred, and that is equals to twenty. Question number eleven: Solve the inequality. We have seven m is less than equals to eighteen plus thirteen. Right. So eighteen and thirteen, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one and one, so it's three thirty one. Seven m is less than equals to thirty one, right? Sorry, it's eight, not eighteen. It's eight, so it's twenty one, not thirty one. So m is less than equals to twenty one out of seven, which is three, right? So m is less than equals to three. Question number twelve: uh, Solve the simultaneous equation. Uh, show all your working. Right. So let me multiply my second equation by four. So five x plus four y equals to fourteen. The first equation stays the same. Now for second equation, three times four is twelve x. Uh, sorry. Um, we have to multiply it by two. Sorry, which is six. Which is three times two is six minus two times two is four y, and two times fifteen would be thirty. Now let me add them up. We can get rid of y, and this would be eleven x, and this would be twenty four. Sorry, this is forty four, and x is equals to four. Right, forty four divides eleven would be four. Let me solve for y. 
by substitute the x value in first or second equation. So 4y equals to 14 minus 5x. Let me substitute into the first one. So 4y is equals to 14 minus 5 times 4 is 20. So y would be equals to negative 6 by 4. So this is minus 3 by 2 in simplest form. Question number 13, a list of 8 numbers has a mean of 12. Mean is 12 and the list of 8 numbers, right? So 12 is the mean sum of 8 numbers divides 8, right? So 12 times 8, 8 times 2 is 16 and... Um, 8 times 1 would be 8 plus 1, 9. So 96 is basically sum of 8 numbers. Right, this is my first equation. Okay, uh, the first 5 numbers has a mean of 9. 9 is the mean of first 5 numbers. Sum of 5 numbers divided by 5. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 is basically the sum of first 5 numbers. Right. Find the sum of the 3 remaining numbers. Okay. So by using the first and second equation, we know that if um, I can rewrite this as sum of 8 numbers is equals to sum of Five numbers plus sum of three numbers right so sum of eight numbers is 96 subtract sum of five numbers is 45 and this would be equals to sum of remaining three numbers right so from 96 take away 45 9 take away 5 this would be 1 sorry 6 take away 5 is 1 and 9 take away 4 would be 5 so 51 question number 14 part a measure angle a b c a b and c this angle we have to measure okay let me use a protector and measure angle a b c okay so this angle is 49 degrees Now for part B, using compasses and straight edge only, construct the perpendicular bisector of AC, A to C. It's perpendicular bisector we have to draw. So we have to open the compass more than the half of the length of AC. Okay, we can take this. Yeah. Let me put this on A. And draw the arc same let me do it C right it cuts at these two points okay let me draw the straight line so this would be the perpendicular bisector of AC right now for part C, on the diagram shade the region inside the triangle ABC, that is, it should be inside number 1, nearer to A than to C. It is closer to A as compared to C, okay, and more than 6 cm from B. So from B, we have to open, it would be 6 cm, this is centimeters, right, more than 6 cm. So open the compass of length 6 cm, a mm, little bit more, this is exactly 6 cm you can see. So let me draw the arc at B, mm, it should be 6 cm is this, 
right it is closer to a as compared to c so this region and more than six centimeter from b right so this would be the shaded region inside it should be inside the triangle okay this is going to be the shaded region right question number 15 part a the second term of a linear sequence is 28. The fifth term of a sequence is 16. So the sequence is linear. We have given the second term and the fifth term. So second, third, fourth and fifth. So the difference would be 3. So this would be 16 minus 28 divides 3. Okay. So from 28 take away 16. This would be 2. And this would be 1. So minus 12 out of 3. That is negative 4. Find the first term, the third term, the fourth term of this sequence. The first term. So the second is 28. The first would be 32. From 32 take away 4 is 28. 28 take away 4 is 24. 24 take away 4 would be 20. And 20 take away 4 is 16. So this is 32 and 24 and 20 right now for part b these are the first five terms of a different sequence find an expression for the nth term of this sequence right so let me find out the common difference first 9 and 3 would be 6 okay adding 6 and here adding 10 and here we have to add uh, 9 9 minus 3 would be 6 19 minus 9 is 10 33 minus 19 so 33 take away 19 so this would be 2 and 13 9 10 11 12 13 it's 4 and 1 so the difference is 14 and from 51 take away 33 so we are left with 4 and 11 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's 8 and 1, 18. The first difference is not constant. The sequence is not linear. Let me check the second difference. It's add 4, add 4, and add 4. The second difference is constant. So the sequence is quadratic. Let's use a guess and check method. So it should be a quadratic n square. Something multiply it and add or subtract something right so we have one square in one square we add one um, is one and adding two would be three right uh, if i add two and square plus two right it will work for the first term now let me check for the second term two square would be four and four plus two would be eight it's nine so not n square plus something so it means something is multiplying over here not instead of one uh, the coefficient should be let me take two so if i can take two n square so one and uh, for n is one so one square is one times two would be two two plus one would be three the first term for n this is n equals to one we will get uh, 2 times 1 plus 1. This would be 2 plus 1. That is 3. Now let me check n equals to 2. So 2 into 2 square plus 1. Right? 2 square is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 plus 1. This is 9. Right? n equals to 3. So 2 times 3 square plus 1 3 square is 9 and 9 times 2 is 18 and 18 plus 1 is 19 yes this will work 2n square plus 1 right question number 16 part a work out the value of t when p is 40 so t is equal to square root of 40 minus 4 so 40 take away 4 this would be equals to 36 square root of 36 is equals to 6. 6 square is 36. Now for part B, rearrange the formula to make P the subject. So squaring on both sides, right? So T square plus 4 would be the P value. T square plus 4, right? 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन द हाइट्स ऑफ एटी प्लांट्स आर माइयर द टेबल शोज द रिजल्ट द हाइट एंड द कम्यूनिटी फ्रिक्वेंसी नंबर एट ड्रॉ अ कम्यूनिटी फ्रिक्वेंसी डायग्राम टू शो दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वैन द हाइट इज टू द कम्यूनिटी फ्रिक्वेंसी वुड बी फोर राइट सो टू इट वुड बी टू एंड फोर इज ओवर हेयर राइट फॉर हाइट फोर इट्स एटीन सो वी हैव टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन ओवर हेयर फॉर हाइट इज सिक्स इट इज फोर्टी टू फोर्टी एंड देन दिस इज फोर्टी टू फॉर हाइट इज एट इट इज सिक्सटी फॉर हाइट इज टेन इट इज सेवेंटी टू दिस इज सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी टू फॉर हाइट इज ट्वेल्व इट इज एटी राइट लेट मी ड्रॉ द क्रूज कनेक्टिंग ऑल द पॉइंट्स दिस इज अ कम्युनिटी फ्रिक्वेंसी डाइग्राम right now for part b use your diagram to find an estimate of the interquartile range interquartile range is the difference between upper quartile and lower quartile right let me work on the upper quartile upper quartile is basically um, if i write the formula over here upper quartile is 3/4 of the value 3/4 of 80 Right, four times two would be eight. So and two times three would be six. So sixtieth value is the upper quartile, and the lower quartile is one fourth of the value. So four times two is eight. So twentieth value. We have to work on the sixtieth and the twentieth value. Right. So this would be the sixtieth one. Right. Which is eight. The upper quartile is eight, and the twentieth one is here. Right. And this is four point one two three four five four point two. Is the lower quartile. So the difference. Is uh, from eight take away four point two, eight point zero and four point two. This should be seven. This should be ten. Over here we have eight and four five six seven three three point eight centimeters is the interquartile range. Now for part C, plants are sold when they are taller than eight centimeter. Okay. Twenty-eight of the plants are sold. Find the value of each. So total plants are eighty, right? So means uh, they are eighty, uh, and the eighty and the difference of eighty and some number should be twenty-eight. So those plants are sold, right? So we can say eighty take away some h. This is twenty-eight, right? So eighty minus twenty-eight would be the h. Right, so we have eighty and twenty-eight, uh, seven and ten. This would be two, and this would be five. Fifty-two. Each value is fifty-two. Question number eighteen. The diagram shows the speed time graph of the part of a journey for two cyclists A and B. Cyclist A and cyclist B. Right. Part A. Find the acceleration. Of cyclist A during the first twenty seconds. So twenty seconds for cyclist A, right? So acceleration is basically the gradient, change in y values over change in x value. This is for cyclist A. The the y value. So this is the x value from zero to twenty, and the y value is from one to seven. The difference is uh, six out of twenty. Change in x over change in y. Six out of twenty centimeters square. Now for part B, find which cyclist travelled further in the first twenty seconds and uh, and by how much meters. So here basically we have to find the distance travelled by cyclist A and cyclist B, and then we have to find uh, who travelled farther than in the first twenty seconds. Okay, so the distance travelled by cyclist A, right? 
so we can say distance traveled by cyclist a is basically the area under the curve so this curve is look like a trapezium right area of a trapezium is half the sum of parallel side this side is 1 this side is 7 and the height is 20 right so 1 plus 7 times by 20 this would be 2 times 10 is 20 and 8 times 10 would be 80 uh, meter distance is 80 meters right now the distance traveled for the cyclist B right so for cyclist B this is a distance traveled which is from 0 to 5 and 0 to 20 it's a rectangle area under the curve which is 5 times 20 so 5 times 2 would be 10 and 0 so 100 meters we can say now we have to find which cyclist travel farther in the first 20 seconds so this is cyclist b and by how much which is 20 meters 100 meters and 80 meters the difference is 20 meters question number 19 express as a single fraction in its simplest form so the common denominator would be 16 right so 8 times 2 is 16 and 4 times 4 is 16 right so 2x plus 2 out of 16 plus uh, 12x out of 16 plus sorry it's minus 5x out of 16 the denominator is same let me simplify the numerators we have 2x plus 2 plus 12x minus 5x out of 16 right so in 12 we have to add 2 which is 14x minus 5x plus 2 out of 16 right so from 14 take away 5 this would be 9x 9x plus 2 out of 16 is the simplified answer question number 20 factorize number a let me take c common we are left with 2d plus e and minus 3 is common 2d plus e so the factors are 2d plus e and c minus 3 right now for part b we have to simplify first taking 3 common we have v square minus 9 t square and here we have to use a difference of square formula so 3 into v plus 3 t and v minus 3 t right Question number 21. Diagram A shows a sector of a circle center at D and radius is 3 by 4 y centimeter square. The obtuse angle D E F is 6 degree. Okay. And this angle should be from 360 degrees. Take away 6 x. Diagram B shows a sector of a circle. Diagram B sector of a circle. Center is P and the radius is Y centimeter. The sector angle is X degree. Now for part A, the length of major arc EF. This is the major arc EF. Is 9 times the length of the arc QR. Right. So for arc length, we have a formula. Arc length is theta over 360 degree 2 pi r this is the arc length formula we have to use so the major arc this one and arc this one the ef is 9 times of qr so it's theta is 360 minus 6x out of 360 into 2 pi and the radius is 3 by 4 y this is 9 times this angle is x over 360 and 2 pi r is y right we have to show that the x value is 20 okay 360 is cancelled with 360 
टू पाई इज कैंसल विथ टू पाई वाई इज कैंसल विथ वाई ओके सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज माइनस सिक्स एक्स टाइम्स थ्री बाई फोर एंड हेयर वी आर लेफ्ट विथ नाइन एक्स राइट सो लेट मी सिंप्लीफाई सो थ्री सिक्सटी टाइम्स बाई थ्री ओके we have 0 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 3 is 9 and 10 1 0 8 times 6 is 18x this would be 4 times 9 would be 36x so 1 0 8 0 this would be equals to 36x plus 18x right 6 and 8 add up to 14 right and uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 54x right let me solve for x x should be equals to 1 0 8 divided by 54 and we have to prove this is 20 so 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 4 is 8 and 0 2 times 2 would be 4 and 2 times 7 is 14 okay dividing by 3 3 times 9 is 27 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 8 is 24 and 0 9 times 1 is 9 9 times 2 is 18 and 0 so x is 20 it is proved right Now for part B, find the value of y when the area of sector P R Q is equals to two pi centimeter square. Area of a sector P R Q, P Q R uh, P and R. Here is Q P and R. Its area we have given. Right. So let me solve for area of a sector has a formula theta over three sixty and pi R square. Pi times radius is y square this is 2 pi we have to solve for y right so here pi is cancel with pi right x we have 20 so 20 out of 360 degree y square this is equals to 2 so y square would be 2 times 0 is cancel with 0 36 out of 2 this is cancel so y square would be 36 Right, so now square root on both sides. So y is six centimeters. It's a radius. It's plus minus six, but we are considering it positive because uh, y is a radius, so it's positive. Question number twenty-two. We have a matrix. Show that x square minus three x would be equals to zero. So we have to do make an equation. The product row with the column x into x minus one. And plus three into two, this is equals to two x plus six. The second equation involves y, so we are just solving it. The first one, x square minus x plus six equals to two x plus six. Six is cancelled with six. X square minus x minus two x equals to zero. So x square minus three x equals to zero. It is proved. Now for part B, one solve x square minus three x equals to zero. Right. So let me take x common. We have x minus three equals to zero. So the first value is x equals to zero, and the other is x equals to three. Right. So x is zero or three. Now for the second part, find the value of y when x is greater than zero. The y value when x is more than zero. So more than zero would be equals to three. Right. Making another equation. Two into x minus one x plus x plus one into two would be equals to y, right? So two into x minus one plus two into x plus one, this is equals to y. We are considering x which is more than zero, which is three, right? So two into three minus one plus two into three plus one, this is equals to y. So two into two plus two into four, this is y. 
so 2 into 2 plus 4 is y so 2 into 6 is y and 2 times 6 is 12 the y value is 12 right question number 23 shop uh, a shop sells hat h scarves s and gloves g right a group of 40 people are asked which item they buy in the shop some of the results are shown in the venn diagram number a two people buy all three items all the three items do okay those people um, that uh, buy both a hat and a scarf also buy gloves hat and a scarf also buy gloves right four people buy exactly two items use this information to complete the venn diagram okay four people buy exactly two items hat or scarf scarf or gloves or hat or gloves exactly two so hat and gloves we are have given it zero so it can be hat scarf or scarf gloves but we have given those people that buy both a hat and a scarf also buy gloves hat and scarf they will buy gloves so it means scarf and gloves are four right okay and the total would be 40 all right so we have zero over here how much is left okay so this is 10 and 5 and 5 10 so it's 20 and 24 and from 40 take away 24 we are left with 16 is left we have 16 here now for part B, work out the number of elements in S intersection H union G complement. H union G, first we have to find. We have H and we have G and its union is 3, 0, 0, 2, 4, 16 and its complement is 10 or 5, right? And its intersection with uh, S, right? So it's just 10. Question number 24, O, A, B is a triangle, O, A and B. P lies on O, B such that uh, A to P and B to B is in the ratio of 2 and 3. So this is 2 by 5 of A, B and this is 3 by 5 of A, B. Right. O A is 4 A and O to P is 3 A plus 2 B. Number 1, find in terms of A and B, giving your answer in its simplest form. Number 1, A, P. A to P is A to O and O to P. A to O and O to P. So, A to O is minus 4 A and O P is 3 A plus 2 B. So, this is minus A plus 2 B. Right. Now for second part, OB. OB is this and this. Right. So here we know that AP is three, 2 by 5 of AB. Right. AP we got is 2B minus A. This is equals to 2 by 5 of AB. So what is AB? So 2B minus A into 5 by 2 this is a b right now we can easily guess what is o to b right o to a and a to b o a plus a b o a we have given which is 4 a and a b is 2 b minus a times 5 by 2 So this is 4a plus 2 is cancelled with 2. We have 5b minus 5a divided by 2. So we have 5b and we have to solve for a's. Here. Right. a is 4 minus 5 by 2. Right. So this is 4 by 1. This is 2. 1 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 5, that is 3, 3 by 2, A plus 3 by 2, 5B plus 3 by 2, A, right.
Now for part B, Q is a point on OA such that Q to P is parallel to OB. Find QP. Q is the point on OA and it is given that QP, QP and OB are parallel. So let me draw Q this line and P to Q. This are parallel. We have Q over here. Right, we have to solve for Q to P. What is QP? Okay, when QP is parallel to OB, it means Q to P is some constant multiple of OB. Right, so QP is OB is 5B plus 3 by 2A. Right, we have to find that multiple, right. Okay, if I am multiplying it by 2 and dividing by 5, to 5b plus 3 by 2a, we have qp would be 2b and uh, 2 is cancelled with 2, 3 by 5a. This is QB, 3 by 5 of A and 2B, right. So that was the last question of our paper. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.